we seem to have some difficulty in solving this kind of a problem. This is a system of equations, but we have x and y in the denominator. So here's a quick example of how to do it. It's actually a lot simpler than you probably thought. The first thing is this, is if we want to get rid of the fractions, which I think would be the first thing to do. If we want to get rid of fractions, all we have to do is, uh, is get the common denominator here, which would be xy, x times y. And if we multiply each term by the common denominator, that'll get rid of the fraction. They'll all cancel out and go away. So if we took, for instance, this top equation and multiplied every single term in it by xy, we would have 2xy over x minus 1xy over y equals 5xy. It may seem kind of silly, but what we notice is that the x's go away here. The y's go away here, so essentially it becomes 2y minus x is equal to 5xy. That is something we can work with. That looks a little bit simpler, doesn't it? The same way, let's do the same thing over here. Our second equation, we have x and y on the bottom, so the common denominator is still xy. If we multiply every single term by xy, that means we get 6xy over x plus 1xy over y and that's going to equal 11xy. Now, we notice once again, the x's cancel out, the y's cancel out, and we're left with the equation 6y plus x is equal to 11xy. Now, you might notice then, that's an elimination problem. The x's, if I add these up vertically, starting on the right, if I add everything to the dot, right of that dotted line, if I just do that vertically, I end up with 8y is equal to 16, excuse me, let's try that again, 16xy. Now I can divide both sides by y, and I find out that 8 is equal to 16x, so x must be 1 half. Once I get that, I can substitute in to say this equation right here, if I know that x is 1 half, I know then that 2y minus 1 half is equal to 5 times 1 half times y. That tells me then that 2y minus 1 half must be equal to 2 and a half y. If I subtract 2y from both sides, I get negative 1 half is equal to 1 half of y, which means y must be negative 1. And so my solution then becomes 1 half negative 1. See, that wasn't so bad, was it?